Being You, a first conversation about gender, written by Megan Madison, Jessica Raleigh, and Anne slash Andy Pastier. This is a note from the authors and the illustrator. I hope you take a moment with your grown-ups to read it. Being You, a first conversation about gender. There's only one you in the whole world. Isn't that amazing? You have a body. Everybody does. What do you love about your body? I love that my body can run and jump and play. Bodies have different parts. They have elbows and noses and belly buttons. Some bodies have a vagina and some bodies have a penis. Every person's body parts look different, but there are some parts that we all have. When a baby is born, grown-ups might say, it's a girl if their body has a vagina, or it's a boy if their body has a penis. Sometimes grown-ups aren't sure, but they choose the words girl or boy anyway. What did your grown-ups call you when you were born? My grown-ups called me a girl. Some babies grow into a different gender than the one grown-ups called them. There are lots of different genders that people can grow into. Some people are girls, some people are boys, some people are neither, and some people are both. What are some genders that you know about? It's okay to wonder, am I a girl? Hmm, am I a boy? Or maybe I'm both, or maybe I'm neither. Hmm, maybe you already know, and that's okay. There's no right answer, and it's even okay if your answer changes. What do you wonder about yourself? What do you know about yourself? Whatever you are feeling, your feelings are real and important. You are the expert in being you. I feel like a girl. Today, I feel like a boy. I'm a girl too. I'm a woman. I'm an in-betweener. I'm trans. All these different people have different genders and they're excited to tell you who they are. Pronouns are words that people used to talk about someone instead of using that person's name. A pronoun might be they, she, or he. And some words might feel more like you than other words. I actually go by Z. Ella, por favor. He and him work for me. My pronouns are they and them. Please, can you just use my name? What are your pronouns? My pronouns are she and her. There are lots of ways to show the world who you are, and they are all wonderful. There are so many toys, clothes, hairstyles, and colors to choose from. You know what you like because it makes you feel happy and at home in your body. What's your favorite color? Mine is purple. What do you like to dress up as? I love dressing up like Disney princesses. You may have heard people say, that's just for boys, or that's just for girls. Has someone ever picked toys or clothes for you, but they didn't make you feel happy or at home in your body? How did it make you feel when that happened? For a long time, many people have said and believed untrue things like you're either a boy or a girl. Some people even said boys are stronger and smarter than everybody else. There's lots of unfair rules that give boys more power. Have you noticed any unfair rules about gender? Take a look at the pictures of the United States presidents in the background. What do you notice about their genders? Thankfully, there are also many brave grown-ups and kids who say, no, that's not fair and that's not true. People who work together to change unfair rules about gender are called feminists. 
No one is free when others are oppressed. Black trans lives matter. Equal pay for all. Love is love. In the patriarchy. In the patriarchy. This is what a feminist looks like. Who are some feminists in your family? We can practice being feminist by noticing unfair things around us and by working together to make things more fair. What if I'm an in-betweener and I don't know if I should go in the boys or the girls? Oh my goodness. Maybe we can work together to make things more fair. Look, they made the bathroom an all gender bathroom. The things we say do and matter and can make the world better for everybody. What unfair things do you notice? What can you say or do about them? We want the world to be more fair because each of us is just right exactly as we are. Being ourselves makes the world beautiful. This is a page about continuing the conversation. You should read this page with a grown-up. I'm going to read the headings, and I hope you and a grown-up read the text. Body parts. Gender assignment. Gender binary. Gender stereotypes. Gender pronouns. Gender expression and play. Feminism. Patriarchy empowerment and activism. You can visit firstconversations.com for more information, support, and ideas about having first conversations with your family. The end. Children notice gender stereotypes as toddlers. It's never too early to begin the conversation. This book is a great place to start.